Now, a company called Ruas, who are well known as an AI translator expert in our tech industry, kindly approached me asking whether I'll be interested to review their latest uh, AI voice translator called the Transbus. So first glance on it, it actually looks like an AirPod. It actually has a touch screen on it, and it actually is powered by a chat GPT and can translate up to 144 languages. So how can I refuse? So the first glance on the actual box itself, what immediately I can see is that it has a battery capacity up to 1000 milliamp hours. So that's really good actually, because my understanding on a typical earbuds of a battery ranges from 300 to 500 milliamp hour. So this must be really good with the battery capacity as well. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing with this brilliant device. I'm really excited about it. So here it goes. All right, so let's open up the actual box, moment of truth. Nice, look at that. So we got the transbud nicely wrapped up. But before we get into this, if we were to open up the lid, then we got a nice booklet quite thick actually so I better revise what's happening inside here before I use it and this I'm pretty sure is the actual charging cable um, so if we were to open it up yeah so it's a pretty standard uh, USB-C cable to a USB cable so if you were to take out the actual wrap you can see the Ruask Transbud uh, with the protective seal on it, ASMR. Uh, so this is a very bright, shiny screen. And on the right hand side, we got A and B. And on the left hand side, you got the plus and minus and also the power button as well. You can see on the back side, I think this looks like a speaker. So whenever it translates, it will speak out. AI voice transfer made in Shenzhen, China. And on the bottom, we got the, which I believe the microphone hole and a USB-C charging. On the top side, uh, we got the lid where we have the actual earbuds, okay? So this is how the earbuds looks like. This is where it charges, uh, where the whole actually sound input comes out, which I believe this is where it will hear from the actual voice coming in but that's just the first impression so far but pretty good so far with the quality kind of softish white plastic clean indeed all right so after reading the instruction manual what i learned from the a and b button is that let's say if the a person speaks in chinese and b person speaks in english the a person who speaks in chinese will press this and speak Chinese and release it and it will translate it for English for you and vice versa if an English person want to speak on the B while pressing and then it will translate to Chinese so each individual could interact. On the earbud itself uh, if each individual actually wear this on each of their own and then if they were to press the button on the actual earbuds itself it will then translate and do the same thing, uh, dialoguing each other at the same time. But we can actually use the screen as well on the bottom of the screen, which I haven't actually tried out. So let's actually turn on the actual unit, shall we? Okay, so here's the power button. Ah, look at that. Who ask? AI translator expert. Okay, nice logo default here. So it's the website here. So we actually have the default date um, and then if we were to swipe up to change the language okay so we can actually choose all these default languages so it's quite honored to have korean and japanese thai indonesia turkish uh, espanol french italiano okay so this is german russian portuguese Arabic, Polish, Czech, and so on. Press English as the default language and press next. So we also need to connect to the Wi-Fi. Just so you know, when you're actually at home, you can use your home network, but if you're outside, you can use your mobile phone as a hotspot to be able to use more than the default language that I just shown you. If we would press next, you can actually set the time and uh, set the time zone 24 hours display settings and etc so it's actually initializing so these are the two sort of time zone that comes as default but you can always change that as well uh, scroll on the right we've got voice translation translate to earbuds which i actually discussed early on offline translation which comes with the default language that i showed you early on and chat ai as well which is powered by chat gpt 
and we got music, video, recorder and settings. Now what I actually found out from the manual is that you need to download it seems those musics or videos into this actual device to be able to see it. I understand on the video side of it but this is Bluetooth uh, able connection as well so I think you don't really necessarily need to download the actual music into this device and I'm not really sure what's the internal memory for this uh, but we could also do recorder. So what's quite useful about this device is that once you actually make friends from abroad, you can actually send an email record to that person once you obtain their email address of the conversation you had. So that's quite cool. But if we were to go to the settings, so we can actually set up the Wi-Fi, system language, Bluetooth, time and date, offline download, voice broadcast, display favorites, clear history, change wallpaper, uh, touch tone, check update, restore factory settings and terminal information. So there's quite a lot of functions here. So to be able to use the offline languages, default 14 languages, you just need to connect to your Wi-Fi and then download it, okay? So it might take a bit of while, but I mean, if you're just about to go to travel, it's a very minor sacrifice you just need to make. So if we were to go to the voice translation, as you can see, as I mentioned early on, you can actually use up to 144 languages here, right? So these are the languages and so on. So please do pause and check whether you have your own languages here. So Hebrew, that's cool. Uh, Icelandic, cool, look at that. Wow, there are a lot of different languages that you can use. And it's cool, isn't it? So you're pretty much secure if you were to travel around the world, if you want to use these languages, that's all good to go. But make sure, other than the default 16 languages, you need to be connected to your internet to be able to use. So these are the 16 uh, languages that you can download and use it as an offline uh, that we just talked early on. So that's pretty cool. It's a quite popular ones, aren't they? And if we were to go back, uh, you can actually use your um, Transport A8 unit. And then once you actually start using it, I'll just show you if we were to take it out. Yeah. And then if we were to close this, and then once you, you change whatever language you want to dialogue with. So one person will be wearing this one, the other person will be wearing the other one, and then change the language and complete. And then um, if you actually then press on this, then you can have an ongoing conversation, okay? So you can see that I'm actually quite far away from the earbuds, then it's still picking up the uh, languages. But let's say if I were to speak in Korean, 안녕하세요, 반갑습니다. See, so it's like automatically recognizing each languages and that's really, really um, impressive. So you can have this ongoing conversation. And the next one is the chat uh, GPT, chat AI function. So let's say if I were to press this and go, who is the richest man in the world at the moment? As of now, the richest man in the world is Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX. That is not quite true because I believe this chat GPT is not the latest, but you get the picture of how you can use. It's a brilliant thing to have this tiny device that has a chat GPT function on it as well. So again, if you want to use this as a music device, you just go on to the music. And uh, if you actually click on the list that is available uh, for copyright reason, I won't play it, but you get the picture. You can actually put all these under the list and play it and listen to it by your earbuds. There you go. For copyright, I'm going to make this very short. Um, and on the video again, so that's very sharp. It's quite impressive, isn't it? But then again, you got your smartphone, so it actually does make you wonder why do you need this, but it does actually show how good, how cool this device is. So since Icelandic is not part of the 16 language default that you can download and use offline, what I'm gonna do is use the Wi-Fi, uh, then use my smartphone to actually pronounce the Icelandic because I don't speak the lingo to see how well it translates through the connection of Wi-Fi. So here it goes. How is the weather? That's amazing. Again. 
How is the weather? So it could easily detect the sound from a distance. The volume is not that loud. And it's quite impressive. Yeah, the sentence I asked was, what is the weather like? Now let's do a bit of a longer sentence on the uh, Arabic Egypt. And I'm actually gonna uh, play it on my Google Translate again to see how it goes. So let's press that. The most intelligent person alive. Yeah, so I typed in, I believe you are the most intelligent person alive. So that's a very good translation actually. Again. The most intelligent person alive. That's pretty impressive. Right, so as you can see here, I'm going to use the translate to earbuds function to speak both in Korean and English to see whether it can detect and how good it is. So let's actually uh, try out. So it actually says Korean and English and all you need to do is connect and then press the mic. So here it goes. 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. There you go. So it's actually translated in um, English. 너는 지금 뭐 하는 게 가장 즐겁니? That's pretty good translation. So 내일은 무엇을 먹을 거니? That's very good. 내일 날씨가 참 좋을 것 같아. So it could automatically detect whether it's a Korean and English. So I'm actually uh, using both of the earbuds on both ends, uh, but technically one earbud should be on the other. And then that's where you could actually have an ongoing uh, conversation by using this cool device. So I have to say, I'm really impressed by this. So let's say you travel abroad and you got no one else to talk to and you want to speak to an intelligent uh, being known as ChatGPT. All you need to do is go into the chat AI here and then click on the actual microphone. So let's say, I'm really bored. Please cheer me up. I'm sorry to hear that you're feeling bored. How about trying a new hobby or activity to stimulate your mind and bring some excitement into your day? Okay, so let's do another one. Tell me a joke. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Ha <laughs> very funny. Okay, so let's do another one. Um, what are the local restaurants I could go near me in central London? There are numerous local restaurants in central London that you can explore, including traditional British pubs, international cuisines, and fine dining options. Yeah. Some popular choices are Dishoom, The Wolseley, Sketch, Hakkasan, and The Palomar. I have it to is say... It's recommended to check online platforms or ask locals for the most up-to-date information on restaurant availability and opening hours. I have to say that's pretty good actually for ChatGPT. So Dishum is a really nice place. I've been there. Sketch, I've been there. Worsley, I've been there and so on. So yeah, I would definitely agree with that. So that's pretty much the run through of the whole thing, I guess. All right, so as an AI translator expert, Ruask has done a really good job on building this device called the uh, A8 Transport, I would like to call it. Uh, especially, I'm really impressed with the translating function, not only the voice translation using the Wi-Fi, the offline translation works pretty damn good as well. Um, I'm really impressed with the translator earbuds. As I've shown early on, you can have an ongoing conversation with them without pressing all the things. So that's really impressive. So um, I'm really excited to use this. Whoever is willing to put on this, um, regardless with the hygiene purpose and so on. And also the chat GPT is always great to have that, especially with this portable device. I'm really loving the whole thing. Uh, the only slight grudge I have against this whole thing is that I don't really necessarily see the need of having a music 
or the video function on it because I could always use my smartphone for that. Um, recorder, maybe, because if you want to secretly record someone having a go at you for any reviews, maybe that will come very handy as well. Um, I actually, when I start using this device about uh, two and a half uh, hours ago, it started with a 60% battery. It's gone way down to 28% now, uh, but I can't really imagine uh, using this intense. It was mainly for the review. I was flipping all these functions, turning on and off, updating and so on. But I have to say that's pretty good, um, but I can't see this as a problem if you're gonna, um, go somewhere as a travel to use this for even for the translator earbuds i mean unless you're a very chatty person who would like to talk with someone hours and hours and make sure the other person continuously for hours have this earbud on on the other end um, i think this will work just fine for the battery life as well so i hope this video explained to you exactly how this impressive translator device is i mean it's really nice soft touch as well so i do feel like i want to carry this with me all the time in case even in london such as diversity i want to actually know if i want to know this person and uh, they're friendly i could always have an ongoing conversation with them and just to have just to know that i have a, a translator device with an ai chat gpt power it's really assuring as well. So I'm really excited. I'm going to use it when I'm traveling, definitely. So thank you very much, Uas, for sending me this brilliant device. Um, I hope this video explained to you what this is. But if you have any queries, please do comment below and I'll be more than happy to come back to you. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.